Welcome to Kenny Rogers' abandoned mega mansion. Let's go. This must be the nicest chandelier I've ever seen. It's gonna lift up by itself. You just imagine the parties. Look at the kitchen over here. It's one of the craziest bedrooms I've ever seen. Can you just imagine Kenny Rogers taking a bath, having the waterfall falling down right there? Oh my gosh, it's still working. Over here is a giant walk-in closet. It's literally a secret room down the basement. Located in one of America's richest neighborhoods lies an abandoned mansion that was once a beautiful home for the legendary Kenny Rogers. This is breaking overnight. Country legend Kenny Rogers has passed away. Looks back at the life and career of the man behind The Gambler and Lucille. Two years before Lucille launched Kenny Rogers' solo career, he could barely afford to live in a motel. But when the song became a chart-topping crossover international hit, he had enough money to buy his own jet and mansion, and in its last years became the neighborhood's biggest complaint. Nearby property owners continue to complain about noise violations and their concern for safety. They had 128 cars, people were urinating in their yards, people were ringing their doorbells looking for the party. With the home taken by the bank, it now sits in neglect as Mother Nature takes over. Now, come with me as we wander into the forgotten. All right, everyone, so we just made inside this incredible mansion. It was built around the early 1990s as a castle-like estate, and it was worth $10 million. The place is absolutely massive, too. It has six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a four-car garage, state-of-the-art gym, and much, much more. Not only that, but it was owned by the very famous country singer Kenny Rogers. Absolute legend, and I'm a huge fan. If you're a huge fan, too, leave a comment down below. I can't believe we're exploring this place today. Now he lived here up until 2006 and sold it to a Nigerian family that was very wealthy for about $8.5 million. And they lived here up until 2018, but it was found out that they owed a lot of taxes. And so they ended up leaving this place and left it to a family member to take care of. But the family member was renting this place out for businesses, weddings, events, and famous artists such as Offset, 21 Savage, and Russ, end up making music videos in here. Time to give you guys a tour of the interior here in the grand entry. I don't even know what to call this. Main hallway. I can definitely just imagine people dancing around and partying down here on this floor. This must be the nicest chandelier I've ever seen. I love the crystals on it. And look where it's attached from. The ceiling is all the way up there. I love how there's a mirror see my own reflection. One thing I noticed about mansions is you always got to have the checkered floors, right? Usually that's like a Freemason sign. So I just noticed the drapes circling all around. Definitely gives you a more of a ballroom vibe with it. And here's the main fireplace. Some nice marble. Definitely like the carvings on it. It's quite beautiful. I just got back from our Europe trip though, and the fireplaces over there definitely top the ones in America. You know, not a lot of things are left behind here. It's mostly the architecture, but we got this painting. It must have been done from like a famous artist, I can imagine. This place is massive. I don't really know where to start, but I guess we'll start on the right side and work our way to the left. Ooh, you can see a little bit of the overgrowth from here. All right, the first room. This must have been some sort of living room. The fan still works in here. Those look like giant banana leaves. Ooh, that feels good. It's giving a nice breeze. Let's turn it off. 
I don't really want to be messing around with the switches while I'm here, but I had to show you guys that. And look at this fireplace. It's made of wood, nothing too crazy. I do like the carvings on it. We still got some firewood. This thing must have been a container for some plant. Oh, there's just trash. I like the mirror over here. This room would be great for working out or dancing. Oh, we have kombucha. Probably from another explorer. Oh, that's a big walk-in closet. And we're probably gonna be seeing much more larger than this one. On the opposite side, you have a bathroom. This is gorgeous. You know, it feels good to be exploring an abandoned mansion here in America again. I was exploring around Europe for the majority of this year, and a lot of it is from the, the 1800s or even the 12th century. Really old places, so it's good to be exploring some modern homes again. Here's the tub. It has some jets. It feels so relaxing to take a bath right here. And I just love the really tall stained glass window right next to it. Or if there's still running water. Nope. Looks like the water's not working. Ooh, this is really pretty. Got like crystal knobs on the drawers, and cabinets. And right over here is the standing shower. You could have more than one person taking a shower in here. You even have little bench seats right there to just sit down and relax. Yeah, I really like this setup. You gotta have a bathroom with separate tubs and showers and toilet seats. This toilet seat is actually really advanced. It's gonna lift up by itself. You don't need to touch it or anything. There's a cockroach. Here's some buttons. It has a flush button and a cleansing button. I guess it would automatically clean the toilet. And all the toilets in this mansion is gonna be like that. Kinda reminds me of the toilet seats that you would see in Japan. to see this walk-in closet because I was just so captivated by the bathroom but you can actually walk more down over here okay we're gonna wrap around to the other room We got Explore with Rick right over here. This will be another lounge room, living room. Gotta love the covered ceilings though on top. And there's like inbuilt lights in them too. The fireplace is built right into the wall over here. Yeah, we actually got an early morning start here and it was like pitch dark and all the lights were on. But I really wanted to make this documentary with good lighting. So we waited a few hours for the sun to rise. Okay, we're hiding our backpacks over here in this little corner that leads into a bathroom. The sink is so cool, it's like an oyster shell. And so crazy how we still have the hand soap. 
Yet again, we have one of those advanced toilet seats. Come on, sense me. There we go. Oh God, it's been used. No, now I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little surprise when you go up to it. Here's one of the stairways. And we can take this going upstairs, but we still have to explore the other side. So I say we just go over there right now. I think I like this stairway a lot better than the other one. Looks more grand. Oh. We even have another stairway leading downstairs to the basement floor. This was definitely the main living room. Just love how we have so much natural lighting coming through and easy access to the backyard. Now this is a pretty interesting fireplace. I love the carvings on it. The side of the wall kind of gives you a very cinema vibe. I'm not sure what this padding could have been used for. I guess it's just to make it look stylish. I'm guessing a big screen TV was put right there. I can definitely see why this mansion was crazy for parties. Just have so much space. You can just imagine the parties in here. Wow, this is insane. Look at the kitchen over here. This is absolutely incredible. Love the island. Marble countertop. Massive. You can just put all your groceries right on top of here. This is definitely a dream home for a lot of people. I would love to live here. The funny thing is you probably could for free <laughs> with all the power still on and everything. I'm guessing the dining table would be right here. Oh, that smells bad though. Oof. Oh, there's a bag of ice here. You have a gas stove. I prefer that more than electric ones. Oven. You must have been cooking something good wave over here and you have two of them <laughs> you can probably store every ingredient from around the world inside this kitchen I found some wine glasses still left in here What's look that? at that bro oh yeah the seasoning uh, yeah you have like a, a cabinet full of seasoning what the heck there's no seasoning <laughs> in the drawers but they only have them Maybe Outside of it. Yeah, it's just the label things. All right, so we just got done exploring the kitchen. We're over in this little hallway that also leads to the main ballroom, I guess, is what I'm gonna call it. Let's go over here at the end. Hmm, this room has its own sink. I guess this would be good for like a maid or a servant to live in. Over here, kind of looks like a garage. Yep. Wow, it's really big. So it looks like you were able to fit three cars in this garage and you have a little tiny one, just enough for one more car. Looks like this is, oh, this looks almost Egyptian. All the cabinets over here. I 
It looks Arabian style. The last room to see on this side of the mansion. Looks like this room is used for storage. Oh my goodness. I really like this room a lot. I like the color between blue and red. And the drapes kind of blend it very nicely. Some of the decorations in here and the cabinets are very like Chinese. Yeah, you can see some of the carvings right here. Looks like monks and priests. I love how the fireplace has a Chinese design. Even has some Chinese symbols and letters over here. I guess this was used for the fire. room was actually used for a music video shoot and that table thing right by the wall was used for it yeah so this is the room where rick flair was standing right here and 21 savage was over there and they were all eating at that dinner table right there and when rick flair was standing right here he was saying his line wheeling stealing and all that stuff and that's rick flair that's his wife and I think that might be Offset. Yeah, that's Offset. That Offset and that's 21 Savage, one of the two. That's definitely Ric Flair in the back. So that shot was taken right over there in the corner. Yep. So that's it, we checked out every room on this floor. It's time we head upstairs, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. If you have, don't forget to smash the like button. It'll help the video a lot. And also, I've been taking a lot of photos of this place. To check them on my social media, the links will be down below in the description. All right, let's head upstairs. But first, I just wanna mention, this place has two stairways going up to the second floor. And they're quite small. I was expecting something much more grand, but I think you guys will like the second floor a lot. It's where the master bedroom is. And let me tell you, it's one of the craziest bedrooms I've ever seen left abandoned. You can see a little peek right now, but we're gonna go in here later. Let me show you this side of the mansion first, right over here. Crazy, you can even overlook the first floor from here. Time to check out my favorite room of the mansion, the master bedroom. Unbelievable. Earlier this morning, we came here and you know, we turned on all the lights, but I want to show you guys how it looks like when it's turned off. This is how it is. It's really dark in here. And then when you turn on the lights, it looks way cooler. Yeah, there's actually light strips on these steps leading to the bed. Love the bed frame. The style is something I've never even seen before. You would think it's European, but it's not. You would never imagine a bedroom looking like this. We have a fireplace too. It's really big. Love the lion head sculpted right into it. You know, I'm a Leo. So 
So shout out to all my Leos out there watching this video. This bed is just so extravagant. And just like the way the ceiling is with like a big dome just makes you feel like an ant. Like imagine waking up every morning like this. Kind of wish the mattress was still here. You know, they took a lot of things out of this mansion and only left a few things. They should have taken this bed frame too. Look at the top part of it. You know, I don't think a lot of people got to see the inside of this bed frame, but there's just so much attention to detail put into it. And right over there in the corner, you had a tiny little bathroom. Oh gosh. So this bedroom has its own bathroom and check it out. Come here, come here. This is nuts. This is the biggest bathroom I've ever seen attached to the master bedroom. And right here, I kind of think this used to be like a waterfall. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And you can see through it right now. You can see the bathtub right there. This bathroom is so luxurious. You got so many cabinets. just keeps on going and wraps around. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's so unnecessary to have this many bathrooms, especially since you have one already like, like 20 feet away. But I guess it makes sense. I guess if you're living in this mansion, you kind of would live here with a large family. All right, let's see what surprise this toilet has. All right, thank God it hasn't been used. Here's a remote controller, probably for some sound system. Ooh, over here is a giant walk-in closet. This is so big. This one has like those strip lights. I would probably keep a shoe collection in here. I bet all the females watching this video right now is thinking how much clothes they can fit it. And I love how there's mirrors all around. So you can try on a lot of clothes, get a good idea how you look like. You can even stand on it. You see every angle of yourself. You were able to lock the closet. I bet hundreds of thousands or even millions worth of clothes was stored in here. And here's the bathtub. Let's see if we can put more lights. I guess this is as bright as it gets in here. Anyway, can you just imagine Kenny Rogers taking a bath, having the waterfall falling down right there and having the fireplace going? It must feel like heaven just relaxing on this tub. We even have the controller for it. I think this is for like the jets. Would've been cool if there was still water flowing. You got a standing shower with see-through glass. Wow, it leads further down to like another room. And it looks like this shower was made for two people. You have two shower heads right here. And also another door. I just feel like it's so unnecessary. You can just have one door. <laughs> you don't need two of them. Another bathroom with a toilet seat. Right, let's see what this has in store for us. Also clean, that's good. I lost count how many toilet seats we open. Over here, 
There's another hallway leading to another room, but it's also like a walk-in closet. Oh, this is the gym. Lots of open space. I don't really like how this room is just all mirrors. Not to be superstitious, but I feel like that's bad luck. We still have some equipment. Like a little balcony over here. You can't really step out. That is quite the view. It's really peaceful. So this wraps around back to the center hall. Like a little bathroom in this corner. Ooh, I'm digging the wallpaper. You have a nice standing shower. Here's a standing shower. You know, you probably come here after a good workout, rinse yourself off the sweat. Oh, this is the only bathroom with like a normal toilet. Okay, it's time to check the other side. But yo, look at this. You got like these mount plates on the wall, on this side and that side. Hmm, that's really strange. I feel like, you know, they would have TVs placed in them. But anyway, guys, yeah, we have to check out the other side. I am so beat right now. I think I've been inside here for about five hours already. Unfortunately, my gimbal died just now. So if you've noticed a little bit of shakiness or less smoothness in some of my shots, that's why. Exploring this place has been really incredible. I absolutely love this floor, especially with the master bedroom. I've never seen anything like it ever. It actually feels like a bedroom for like some sort of fictional character like that's the vibe I'm getting check out the other side now you can actually get to the balcony over here oh wait oh, yeah this opens look at that so this is the second stairway that leads downstairs Guess we'll take this when we're going down to the basement. These rooms on this side are pretty empty. They have really gorgeous curtains though. Oh no, another toilet. Oh. oh. Ooh, okay. Looks like it would use a little bit. Someone left their lighter here. Bedroom came with its own walk-in closet as well. I think all the bedrooms so far had walk-in closets. Yeah, this one's empty as well. Looks like there was some sort of wasp nest at one point. That one looks mean. A lot of them dead on the ground. Well, this curtain is pretty unique. I think you females will enjoy this. Hmm. Even has a little bit of diamond crystals on it. get to the attic there's still a note posted here please take off your shoe covers and put on these new ones so not to track dirt or dust yeah I don't think that's gonna help anymore here's an electrical box you can hear it This is the last bedroom. Oh, 
Oh, so here's a closet. Oh, this one's not even opening. Does this still work? Oh my gosh, it's still working. Oh, well, we don't know the code, so I don't think we can get inside here. Do you know the code? Dang, we'll never know what's in here. Heck, that could be the only room with stuff inside since it's never been open. All right, it's time to head downstairs. Ooh, I like the view from this stairway. All right, everyone, so we pretty much checked this floor and the top floor. It's now time to head downstairs in the basement. And I think you guys will like this a lot. You can already tell that's starting to feel really cozy. Look at that. We have our own mini bar right over here. And I know some of you guys watching are probably saying this place is too clean, but look at this. There's cobwebs right here on the ceiling. I wonder if there was like some sort of theater room down here. I mean, I guess some of these rooms could have had, you know, a widescreen TV, some sofa seats, but nothing like a cinema. This room looks pretty cool. Hey, and there's a TV left behind. Maybe the TV that they were always using that was mounted on the walls. And this kind of looks like some sort of fireplace. Or it could have even been like a fish tank at one point. Here you have a bathroom. Oh, guys, look at the ceiling. This is pretty nice. What do you think of it? So this is the last area of the basement that we have to check. And then we're gonna be finally done with the tour. Feels like forever I've been inside here. Hmm, this is a creepy room. Yeah, it seems most of the rooms are really empty. Oh, what could be in here? That looks like a router. I guess all like the network systems. I mean, there's still more to go. <laughs> it's really creepy in the basement. I feel like someone could be just staying in one of these rooms. Heck, it keeps going. It's not stopping. Oh, this room kind of looks like it was meant for like a theater. The flooring is in really bad condition. I can hear something from here. It looks like a boiler room. There's a stairway here that leads up, and I think we saw where the entrance was before. I think it just goes to the kitchen. Rick actually pointed this out to me. I love it. Yeah, he found this in his last, in his first exploration. My last explorer, yeah, a little secret passage. It's there. literally a secret room down the basement. People under the stairs live there. Yeah, for real. The mole people live under here. Exactly. Or Harry Potter's room. <laughs> It's just underneath the stairway. Nothing special, just cool. But I don't know why they put a curtain there. Hmm. Yeah, just to keep it not noticeable, I guess. I guess. The 
this is how this is a close-up of the back beautiful mansion all right everyone so we're pretty much wrapping this up just made it back out here but i just want to show you guys a better close-up of the backyard it's like we're in some sort of outdoor bar must have been nice to grill up a burger some food we even have like an ice cream cart right here Here's the pool. Hey everyone, so I did not do an outro, so I'm gonna do it here. I'm back at the home base, and I just wanna say thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button bell, and give this video a massive thumbs up to help the algorithm. Wish you guys a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everyone. I didn't expect to drop this video on Christmas Eve, but I couldn't really wish you guys Happy Holidays in the beginning of the video. What an incredible mansion this place was. It's so sad to see the state of this once beautiful home that belonged to Kenny Rogers. You know, when I first got to this place, I couldn't believe how easy it was. There's no trespassing signs, doors are wide open, the grass is overgrown, and there's roots that are starting to grow all over the mansion. I really hope that one day this place can be restored to its former glory, be taken care of. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you enjoyed most about this video. And if you want to see more abandoned mansions, you got to stay tuned on the channel because I'll be dropping so much. 2022, I explored a lot in Europe. I have like a year's worth of backlog videos to be put out from Europe alone. So for 2023, I really want to film in America and make a USA series. That's my big plan for 2023. And I think you guys will enjoy it a lot because, you know, we haven't been posting American videos lately. So I'm gonna go hard before the holiday season and the winter season I've restocked the wonder hoodies you guys have been waiting for this restock for almost a year I finally have it back together and they're selling like hotcakes so you want to sign up for the mailing list and get 10% off shop freemaxwarner.com not only that but I've updated the website I do international shipping but for majority I've been shipping these hoodies out from America so you had to pay an international shipping fee but now I not only have a USA base, but I have a UK base as well. So for my UK audience, you don't have to pay international shipping at all. Don't worry for my Asian audience, the same thing will happen over there too very, very soon. But that's all I have to say for now, guys. I love you all. Thank you so much for the support. And until next time, don't forget to live a life of freedom and wonder. Peace and thanks for watching.